Today is Tuesday and we're going to talk about onomatopoeia. And the word in Norwegian is very similar. I had to make a little song so I could remember how to spell it. O-N-O-M-A-T-O-P-O-E-I-A. And that's often a trick when you're learning to spell things. If you make a little song or a little rhyme, it sticks in your head a little bit better. But onomatopoeia is when the words are written, that are written, sound that way. So for example, squish or squash or pop. When you say the word, it sounds like the thing that it is. And in the 1960s, there was a TV series called Batman, the original Batman. I know there's been animated versions afterwards. And in that series, whenever Batman and Robin would fight with some of the villains, they would always put onomatopoetic words in the frames. So one would go to punch another one and you'd see words like pow and bang and whap. So check that out if you haven't looked at the original Batman series. It's really quite fun. Onomatopoeia gives us the sound effects in our writing that we achieve in film through actual sounds. Now, if you want to try a fun activity with your students, which can be adapted to different grade levels, for example, grades three and five like this because of it has multi-syllabic, multi-syllable words. Uh, younger students like it because they can play with musical instruments. Older students like it because you can talk a little bit about poetic devices. But uh, this is, if you Google onomatopoeia Rita, percussion poems for auditory learners, because auditory learners learn from things they hear. Kinesthetic learners learn by things that they feel. Uh, you'll find this poem, and we'll link it here as well. So the first group would say, ta-ta-tum-tum-tum, ta-ta-tum-tum-tum, and they keep that rhythm up. And then the second group would say, ta-ta-tum, ta-ta-tum, ta-ta-tum. And you want them to be so that they're saying it at the same time, sort of like a canon that we've talked about before. The third group says, chi-chi-chi-chi, chi-chi-chi-chi. So now you've got three voices. The fourth fruit group can say, ding, ding, ding-a-ling, ding, ding, ding-a-ling. And you can change your voices to match the words. The next group would say, bong, 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 again, in the same rhythm so that all of the different lines fit together. And the last group can say, clippity-clop, clippity-clop. So have fun with that and play with it and see if you can divide your, your students up into different groups and have them say their different lines in the same rhythm so that they all fit together. That's a fun thing to do with sound and onomatopoeia. Tomorrow, I'm going to be introducing you to two different onomatopoeia poems, one called On the Ning Nang Nong and the other called The Sound Collector. So stay tuned tomorrow and play a little bit with onomatopoeia, words that sound the way they look and the way they're written. Pow!